गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल हाई हम आकांक्षा यू रेड द टाइटल ऑफ द वीडियो लाइक यू नो टूडेज वीडियो इज दिवाली गेट रेडी विथ मी और दिवाली ग्लैम आई लव हाउ द वे द लुक टर्न आउट सो इफ यू गाइज डोंट नो ऑलरेडी आई एम अ साउथ इंडियन सो आई वॉन्ट टू एड अ साउथ इंडियन टच टू दी आउटफिट सो आई वो माई मॉम्स वाइट पटू सारी एंड आई जस्ट पुट अ बन बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड एवरी थिंग हेल्प टू हैव अ टेंशन लाइक यू नो इट जस्ट लुक्स वेरी एलिगेंट एंड क्लासी सो या आई सुपर लव हाउ इट लुक्स एन ऑल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ आई डिड दिस मेकअप लुक दिस is my mom sari she just got the same material like the color blouse and she got it stitched this is the best way you can use your mom's clothes just make sure the fabric and the color matches the original sari really really wear let it be sari or let it be anything which you want to reuse so since this is a very rich sari you know it looks very rich so i had to get a blouse which you know matches the texture of it if i'm just going to get a gold cotton color blouse it won't suit so just make sure you you know you just go to the shop choose whatever you want you know just take the saree along with you and do that uh, so yeah that's it for the outfit and i'll show you guys how to do this makeup i super super love how this turned out so before getting into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post and yeah let's get started So let's start off with the primer. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Base Magic Transforming Smoothing Primer. So I'm just gonna take it and apply it on the areas where I have a lot of pores. That's right here and on my nose. So I'm just gonna apply it here. You can apply it all over your face as well. That's up to you. So there's this one thing I've been doing recently, and it helped my makeup stay longer, or you know, to not get oilier for a longer period of time. It has really, really helped that. For that, so what I do is I take a powder. Uh, don't worry about it, uh, your foundation or anything getting cakey. It won't happen because you just have to apply a very little, you know, a thin layer of it. I'll show you guys how to do it. So by applying that, what it happens is like you know it. stays on the oil doesn't peep through very easily if you're someone who has oily skin this can be a life saver i really really get oily around this area like within an hour no matter which foundation i use so i usually bake it so it stays on 3 4 hours now if i do this and if i bake it like you know for 2 3 minutes also it's fine so i'm just taking a tiny tiny bit of powder and just applying it on the areas where i know for sure i'm going to get oily so just a thin layer you can see you cannot even see the powder like you know it's just melting off and it's just mattifying everything and just it won't you know make my foundation get oilier so i applied a very thin layer of that powder and next i'm going to go in with the foundation so i'm using two foundations i'm mixing mixing two foundations today so one is uh, the maybelline superstay foundation and one is the elegant sorry l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh fair foundation this is in the shade golden and uh, this is in the shade 260 this is a little lighter to my skin and this is a little darker to my skin so if i mix both you know it will be the perfect combination so i'm just going to mix that and apply i'm nicely going to blend it the reason i applied the powder is because i don't want to get greasy so technically like if i you know do my makeup in the day during the puja i can keep it until the night like you know when we are having the diwali party or anything like that so you could do that or you could skip that part if you're just going to wear your makeup for one two hours and you're going to remove it next i'm just going to take a little you know tiny brush and whatever is left on my hand and i'm just going to you know go around my nose a little bit you know around my mouth just to make sure everything is properly even out so after this uh, let's move on to the concealer i'm going in with my uh, elegal uh, pro concealer in uh, the shade medium beige and i'm going to add the maybelline instant age rewind in uh, medium as well so because this is not so light i want like you know a little brightening effect under my eyes so i'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and apply it 
so that's it that it's like you know tiny amount if you want you can add later so i'm just going to take a tiny bit like i don't i didn't want to go with medium all over because uh, it it kind of gets a little too light uh for my skin tone so i'm just the concealer is nice and blended i'm just going to add a tiny tiny bit more you know to get a little brightening effect that's it that much so next i'm going to contour with my kkw contour stick this is in the shade dark so i'm just going to apply it on the areas where i want to contour always blend the contour upwards Contour just gives so much dimension to your face. I I I guess the best part of our makeup for me is contouring and giving that shape to your face. So I'm just gonna contour my nose as well. So yeah, the first one I used was a Morphe brush, and this is uh, the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. But I like it as a cream product like you know a brush for a cream product so for the last cream product i just want to add this cover fix um custom enhancer drop this is in the shade moonlight i love this highlighter drops i have a mini version because i don't think you can ever get uh you know over with a full version because i rarely you know use it and it even just need you like you just need a tiny bit of it so i'm just gonna use my finger and blend it into my skin the best part about these uh you know like this liquid highlighter is the thing that you can even use it on powder so even if you forget to use it first later it doesn't grab onto your powder very weirdly so like while i was using my finger you can see i went tiny bit into that line so what i do sometimes when i do that is i go back with the same brush take a tiny bit of concealer and i conceal that part so that you know i don't have any shine underneath my eyes you can always do your eyes before your base because uh, if you if, like you know if you're scared of fallout or anything but i i prefer my base done first so i always do that i'm going in with my maybelline fit me powder and i'm mixing my kkw beauty powder with it so i just always do that in every video you've seen it till now so just for the under eyes i go in with a lighter shade of powder and then for the rest of my face i use my normal uh, maybelline powder so and i'm just gonna take that and i'm probably going to make sure there are no creases and then i'm just gonna next i'm just setting my whole face with the maybelline medium powder just going to ensure that the foundation or all the cream products are not going to go so next i'm going to add a little blush the thing is i love my eyeshadow lips and my blush to coordinate it just brings the whole look together and i'm going to go in with a very warm look like you know for the eyes so i'm just going to take the same eyeshadow palette which i'm going to use i'm going to use the morphe x jacqueline jacqueline hill palette so i'm just going to take a tiny tiny bit because these are very pigmented uh, and i'm just going to add it as a blush they are super super pigmented eyeshadows so just be careful when you use eyeshadows as blush next for contouring i am just going to take the wet and wild this side i broke this side and i'm already almost hitting pan on this side i love love this bronzer so this is the wet and wild mega glow contouring palette and i'm just going to add a little warmth to the face Next, I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I always like to take my sponge and just push that thing inside, you know, so that it'll pick all the powders away. Mm -hmm. 
Next for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit because I already already have the liquid uh, drops underneath. So you can see there's like that very very healthy glow. If you have textures, check. Uh, if you have texture, it's like a tongue twist. If you uh, if you have textured uh, skin, like you know, just avoid applying highlighter on those areas. Because highlighter would like just enhance the texture even more. I'm just going to come close to the camera. You can see it doesn't look cakey. Like you know, wherever I applied the powder, it doesn't look cakey at all. This I have acne, like you know, a small tiny bumps going on. But other than that, you can see there's nothing cakey or anything. Even after adding the powder, it just gives a very nice finish. Like you cannot see it, but it just helps the oil stay in place, and it doesn't help you know. It doesn't make it come through very quickly. So next, I'll just move on to the lips. I'll just add a nude lip for now, and then after we do the eyes, I'll feel. Uh, I'll see if I am feeling any other color. So I'm going to take. I've stopped talking. I've stopped talking while applying lip liner. So I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild lip liner in Chestnut. Next, I'm just taking the Lakme Absolute uh, Revolution Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Soft Nude, and I'm such a beautiful color. It's I, I love the color. Now let's just move on to the eyes. I'm just going to do my eyebrows and uh, concealer and prep my eyes off camera because you guys have already seen it a number of times. So I'll just do that uh, and I'll be back. So I just did my brows with uh, the Benefit Precisely my brow pencil, and then I used my Nars 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 Soft Nars Soft the Nars Soft Matte Concealer in uh, Ginger. Now let's move on to the eyes. I'm have, I'm going to do a very you know warm eyes because uh, you'll see my outfit later, or you must have already seen in the intro. Take a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to take this color. Like a soft transition color, I'm just going to mix these two shades and I'm just going to add them in my crease. I always go in with my transition shade, so it's just easy to blend the rest of the shades together. I love this eyeshadow palette, like the shades just blend like butter so so smoothly. I don't have to make any effort, they literally blend like this. So next up, I'm just going to take these two shades and add it in the crease and deepen the crease even more. Next, I'm just going to take this shade, just going to add it on the ends. And I'm going to deepen that even more with this shade. Next, I'm just going to take this deep, you know, orange metallic shade and I'm going to apply it all over the lid. That is so pretty. It just started raining, you guys. If there's disturbance, I'm so sorry. It is raining very heavily. So, it looks so pretty, right? Like, I love, love those shades. You know what? I want to add glitter to it. So let me just go get the glitter and I'll be back. So I'm going to wear a white outfit. So I pulled out this uh, Forever 52 glitter. This is in the shade Moonstone. And I'm just going to apply it on the center of my lip lid a tiny bit. I'm just taking a tiny, you know, flat brush and I'm just going to grab that and add it on the center. You can totally skip this if you want to keep it very casual. But you know me, I love my full glam. Just a very subtle look. See, like, you know, because when the light hits the eye, you can see that it just catches the attention and it looks very beautiful. That's it. Just a tiny bit in the center. Just that because when light hits, light hits it'll look very pretty. 
so i'm going to go in with a very tiny brush and i'm just going to take this shade and this shade and i'm going to go under my lower lash line so next i'm just going to take the not cosmetics eyeliner and i'm just going to line just a thin and nice winged liner next i'm just going to add my mascara lashes and everything so i'm just going to that is the finished look guys uh, i i to super super love it and if you guys did too and if you guys love the video make sure hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell it would be the it would mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye